SPM, Form 5, Chemistry. Chapter 3, Oxidation and Reduction. In this video, we will summarize, the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 3, Oxidation and Reduction, in the form of concept map. Oxidation reduction reactions, or simply redox reaction occurs if a chemical reaction, involves the loss of gain of electrons. In this chapter, we will learn more about oxidation and reduction. There are four main sections in this chapter. 3.1, Oxidation and Reduction. 3.2, Rusting as a Redox Reaction. 3.3, Reactivity Series of Metals, and its Application. 3.4, Redox Reactions in Electrolytic and Chemical Cells. In Section 3.1, we will learn about the oxidation and reduction. At the end of this section, you should be able to state what oxidation is, and state what reduction is, explain what redox reaction is, state what oxidizing agent is, and state what reducing agent is. Calculate the oxidation number of an element in a compound, relate the oxidation number of an element to the name of its compound, using the IUPAC nomenclature, and explain with examples oxidation and reduction processes, in terms of the change in oxidation number. Explain with examples oxidation and reduction processes, in terms of electron transfer. Explain with examples oxidizing and reducing agents and redox reactions, and write oxidation and reduction half equations, and ionic equations. In section 3.2, we will learn about the rusting as a redox reaction. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the conditions for the rusting of iron, state what corrosion of metal is, describe the process of rusting in terms of oxidation and reduction, and generate ideas on the use of other metals to control rusting. Explain with examples, on the use of a more electropositive metal, to control metal corrosion, explain with examples, on the use of a less electropositive metal, to control metal corrosion, describe efforts to prevent corrosion of metals. In section 3.3, we will learn about, the reactivity series of metals and its application. At the end of this section, you should be able to, Compare the differences in the vigor of the reactions of some metals with oxygen, and deduce the reactivity series of metals. Determine the position of carbon and hydrogen in the reactivity series of metals, and state what the reactivity series of metals are. Describe the extraction of iron and tin from their ores. Explain the use of carbon as the main reducing agent in metal extraction. Use the reactivity series of metals to predict possible reactions involving metals. Describe the various applications of the change of oxidation number in substances. Describe the existence of various types of ores in our country, and describe the contribution of metal extraction industry to the economy of our country. In section 3.4, we will learn about the electrolytic and chemical cells. At the end of this section, you should be able to Explain with examples the oxidation and reduction reactions at the electrodes of various chemical cells. Explain with examples the oxidation and reduction reactions at the electrodes of various electrolytic cells. State the differences between electrolytic and chemical cells in terms of basic structure, energy conversion, and the transfer of electrons at the electrodes. Compare and contrast electrolytic and chemical cells with reference to the oxidation and reduction processes. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.